Steve Mulhern. This is Tricky TV. Now, if you like to see people being amazed <laughs> and amused, <laughs> then you've come to the right place. Here's what's coming up on today's show. Do you think you can beat the cheat and catch both oh. dice in the glass? We attempt the world Four famous bands. Indian road Four trick. Bands. All the way to the top. And we've got the old people from hell in today's extremely funny Wicked Wind Up. I'll tell you what, it's a jam packed show, isn't it, Camera Key? <coughs> yeah. Shall we get on with it? <coughs> Are you an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd get you. All right, have a little look at this. It's one of my favourite tricks. And a bit later on, don't forget, I'm going to teach you this trick so you can do it too. Now, before we start, I need a card selected. So, would you take one out, please, camera key? Don't show me it, but show everybody at home. Now, pop your card back, and I'm going to lose Key's card amongst the pack by just giving them a couple of cuts like this. And I'm going to prove that they're all mixed up, but you can see that they're definitely all mixed all the way through. Now, Keith, just hold out your hand for me. What was your name again, Keith? <laughs> I'm really kidding. We're going to spell Keith's name one card for each letter. Here we go. K E I T H. What was the name of your card? Ten of Clubs. The Ten of Clubs. That's the one I've got. It's such a good trick. And do you know the brilliant thing? It doesn't just work with the name Keith. <laughs> Any one at all, all right? S A D E A K. Have a look. Oh! <laughs> Don't forget, you can learn how to do this trick later on. Oh my god, that is so crazy! We should always help the aged, but today they are helping us. Now, very soon our victims will arrive. They think they're going to be caring for the elderly, but they're in for a bit of a shock. This is Maggie and this is Michael, and they are two of the most outrageous oldies you could ever want to meet. Well, they are today. You see, this is an OAP wicked wind up, and these two feral old pensioners are soon going to become grandparents from hell. <laughs> Love. Uh. Is that going to be me? <laughs> <laughs> and there I am, the old bloke, hidden in the corner. And our cameras are hidden everywhere. Our first young helpers arrive, with Jane from the Triggy team posing as a nurse, who gives the girls their first task. OK, I'm going to go and make their beds, but I'll be back in a minute, all right? Put your coat down, there you'll be more comfy. Yeah, OK, That's see you right. later. Let's tell the wrinklies a nice story. Once upon a time, long ago, even before the days of King Arthur, there lived a blacksmith. Slower. Okay. Slower, Rosie. Slower. Much slower. Once upon a time, long ago, even before the days of King Arthur. Slower. Once upon a time, long ago. Drop your voice down a bit, will you, dear? Make it really deep. Okay. Once upon a time. He asks his friend for help, but his mate's having none of it. How will the helpers react when the wrinklies start farting? Once upon a time, long ago, even before the days of King Arthur, in the dark, he secretly longed, bothered him, not a bit, because although he was small, only three feet tall. I don't pay attention to that all the time. Can I have a glass of water, please, yes. Lilith? <clears throat> it was Lilith, wasn't it? Chloe, Chloe. Oh, Lilith. Yeah, right. Okay. 
Chloe goes over to the table to pour Maggie some water, but what over her shoulder? Maggie takes her teeth out. She's not going to drink that water. Oh, no. Oh, thanks. She plops her gnashes into the glass. <laughs> Look at her friend's face. Chloe remains very respectful. That's very funny. Oh, <laughs> not funny at all. You're lucky you've got all yours. <laughs> Now, watch Michael. He's grabbed a much-loved picture of Maggie's and vandalises the glass with a permanent marker. How will our helpers react? Shock? Horror? Anger? Nah, this bloke's giving him the thumbs up. <laughs> the boys are doing a spot of polishing now, but Michael's about to cause more mischief. I'm bored. I think I'll have some music. Oh, now, what music do your grandparents oh, listen to? Mozart? Mentavani? Michael Balls? <laughs> Not this bear, it's the Kaiser Chiefs! So Michael gets jiggy with it and starts dancing around the living room. So does one of our helpers. Now, what about our friend in the headband? What would you do in this difficult situation? Hmm, freeze frame. Would you A, insult the old people by not joining in, or B, join in, but by doing so make a complete idiot of yourself? Let's find out. He chooses B. Check out those moves. He'll have an eye out with those fingers. Oh, the embarrassment. And faced with the decision of dancing with the oldies, most of our helpers did join in. Oh no, here comes trouble. Who put the music on? I'm going to go and clean the bathroom. No more nonsense. They just blamed each other. Sorry. All that dancing has made Maggie and Michael in need of a trip to the loo, leaving me to reveal the horrible reality of what the helpers have just done. They're looking at me. I take my hat and wig off. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. And uh, you are going to be the stars of today's tricky Wicked wind-up. Oh, my God. I knew that was a fart machine. Did you? And good dancing, by the way. Mm, oh, yes. yes. Nice. We would just like to point out that no young or old people were hurt during the making of this show. Aye, aye. Do you know, I've been looking around this junkyard and I've realised the great thing about magic is you can do tricks with anything. And, uh, and I'll prove it. Look, um, got this empty tube. You can see it's empty and we'll use this manky old teddy bear and uh, look I'll put the tube over the teddy bear like this you know the teddy bear is in my hand yeah okay watch it go the teddy has gone we'll do it after we'll use one of the balls okay empty tube ball ball empty tube you ready? Here we go. And the ball has gone. Right, perfect to make vanish. Litter. Okay. Watch the bottle. I don't know, I should be touching this. Here we go, you ready? What? bottle has gone too. It's good, isn't it? And the great thing about Tricky TV is in a moment, I'm going to tell you the secret to this brilliant trick. Coming up, could you catch both dice oh. in the glass and beat the cheat? Oh. We attempt the world famous Indian rope trick. All the way to the top. And I'll show you how to impress your friends by giving you the secret to a very cool car trick. <laughs> Just a moment ago, you saw me in this junkyard doing tricks 
with this tube. If you remember, I made a teddy bear disappear, a ball vanish, and a bottle just go. So, how did I do it? Did I use sleight of hand? Nah. Let me do the trick again using a clear tube. You ready? Watch the teddy bear vanish. Look. <sighs> Look up here, you can see we've got Chris and we've got Jacob from the tricky team and they've got a very powerful hoover. Let's do the ball. <sighs> and the bottle. <laughs> so there you go, now you know the secret. I think you'll agree that's one trick that really sucks. <laughs> Get it off me! Trick TV! They practice hard to become masters of their art. They train tirelessly and are dedicated to being the best. These are the Young Magicians. This is Stephen. He's an ace with a pack of cards. I'm going to show you something with a pack of cards. I've got one here. And as you can see, they're all different. I'm just going to take one out at random. I'm going to use that later. Now, not many people know this about cards, but you can actually change the size of them by magic. Like that. And if you take the jack of clubs and put it in with the rest of the cards, you can just see how much smaller the other cards have got. So if you wanted to reverse that, all you need to do is gather up the cards and re-spread them. As you can see, all the other cards have gone back to their original size, but the Jack of Clubs has actually shrank. Here's something for you. If you're ever offered a challenge or a task, make sure you know the solution before you accept it. If you don't know the answer, you could lose. But if you do, then you could beat the cheat. The idea of this challenge is you've got two dice and you've also got a glass. Now, you must hold the dice like this and you've got to try and toss both dice into the glass without using your other hand. So, you could try and toss them both up in the air at once and catch them in the glass or you could just toss them one at a time and try and catch them in the glass. But as long as they both end up in there like that, then that will make you a winner. Who thinks they can do it? Quite a few. All right, OK, well, let's give it a go. You're up first. There you go, fella. Right. OK, there you go. Hold it up straight. Good man. Yes, there's one. There's one. Oh. We've got one glass and we've got two dice. You've got to try and get both the dice inside the glass just using one hand. It's easy when you know how. Who wants to give it a go? You do, all right, you're first up. OK, what's your name? Harriet. Harriet. OK, Harriet, good luck to you. Why don't you give it a go? That's it, there's the glass, there's the dice. Do you know, it's not as easy as it sounds because even when you get the first dice in the glass and then you try for the second one, the first one just comes out. Good. Yay. Watch. Told you. There is a way of getting both dice into the glass, and here is how. Now, the first dice, you throw up into the air and catch in the glass like that. But the second dice, you don't throw up. Oh, no. What you do is you just leave it there and drop the glass at the same time, and it will fall into the glass like that. Have a look at it in slow motion. Remember, you don't throw the dice up into the glass. You drop the glass below the falling dice. That's the solution to the dice catch. So now, if you ever get challenged, you'll never be caught out because you can beat the cheat. <laughs> ah, there you are. Be looking for you everywhere. Now, you may remember earlier on, we did a trick with a pack of cards where we made people go crazy just by spelling their name. So get any card you want. 
Okay, oh, sorry. That's all right. Show your friends. And show everybody at home as well. Show Bob there. And just uh, pop your card back. Good stuff. You remember your card? Definitely? Okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you forget your card, just remember your name. Okay. All right, <laughs> good. Okay, now I'm going to go through. Don't tell me when you see your card, all right? Don't okay. tell me when you see your card. Have you seen it yet? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you have. <laughs> Hold out your hand flat for me. Spell your name. For every letter of your name, we're going to spell out a card, okay? Okay. Dealer card. Go. J. O. Next card will be yours. Okay. Have a look. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> that is so crazy! <laughs> it's an amazing trick, isn't it? And in just a second, you will be able to do it too, because I'm just about to reveal the secret. Okay, first thing you do is you ask someone to pick a card. So, Keith, would you help me out, please, and take any card you want? A completely free choice. And now you tell them to remember that card. And whilst they're doing that, you cut the pack and you have a sneaky look at where you've cut. So for me, it's to five of clubs. From now on, that's all you need to remember. Then you ask them to place the card back, and they do, and you place these cards on top. Okay, nice and easy so far. I then say, have a look at the cards, they're all mixed up. In fact, I'm looking for the card that I cut to, the five of clubs. Now, when I see it, I slow down, because I'm now gonna spell the name of the person. So Keith, and it's one card for every letter. By the way, don't do it out loud, do it in your mind. Okay, here we go. K-E-I-T-H. Mm. Once you've done that, you then split the cards and place these on the bottom of the pack. And now you're home and dry. Because all you now need to do is spell out their name. You go K-E-I-T-H and the next card should be theirs. Keith, was that your card? Brilliant! So there you go, it's as easy as that. By the way, a tricky tip for you. When you do cut the card and take a sneaky peek at the one you've cut to, don't make it too obvious, because if you start doing this, I think they'll work it out. But now you know the secret, you can try it on your friends, because you are part of the secret circle. There are many famous magic tricks making things disappear and making things appear. And even change one thing into another. But there's one trick that's been spoken about for centuries but nobody has ever seen. Well, hopefully that is about to change. Now, behind me, I've got all my friends from Beckley Primary School. Hello, all. Hello. Hello. Now, I know they've been studying myths and legends at school. And I just want to find something out. Do any of you know about the myth of uh, the Indian rope trick? See, a couple of them do, but most of them don't. What about you? Do you know about it? Well, let me explain. Apparently, what would happen is a magician would take a piece of rope and then magically make the rope become stiff, like this. And then a young boy, to complete the trick, would actually climb the length of the rope. Well, do you know something? We're going to now try and make the legend of the Indian rope trick become reality but not with a small piece of rope oh no we're going to be using this massive bit of rope and a basket so let me just put the rope inside like this and hopefully the magic will begin you ready here we go right watch something's happening already here we go. Can you see this? Even higher. Higher! How about that? But now, of course, to complete the magic, we need a young boy to climb the rope. So I brought along my mate, Ben. Come in, Ben. 
You're right. Good man, Ben. Do your thing. Will it happen? To complete the trick, Ben begins. Go on, Ben. Go on, Ben. All the way to the top. Let's hear it for Ben. <laughs> so there you have it. Next time you hear the India rope trick is a myth, you can say no. I've seen it only on Tricky TV. Next time, I'll show you how to make a number magically appear on the palm of somebody's hand. And that's not all. Can you guess how to beat the cheat? And we put the scare into Scarecrow as we wicked wind up down on the farm. Yep, that's all coming up next time. But now, let's check out some of the things that didn't go according to plan. Keith, stay that right. You, you've ruined that now, Keith, haven't you? Very soon, our victims will arrive. Now, they think they're going to be... <laughs> what? <laughs> the ten of spades. <laughs> Was it? <laughs> it's the ten of hearts I've got. Was it? <laughs> I can't remember his card. <laughs> now, they think that they're going to be killed. Yeah, hey, oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> Great game.